Hello students, welcome to the next lecture of the series of number system arithmetic and uh, what we have done till now is to how to do addition subtraction of uh, binary number system, octal number system and hexadecimal number system. Then we look to uh, how to perform uh, subtraction as an addition operation with the help of uh, converting the numbers to the negative numbers. Then we saw how to represent a negative number in the sign magnitude representation. In this, uh, in this lecture, we will uh, look after uh, the complement representation to represent to, to represent the numbers into uh, negative numbers okay so methods of negative representation are sign bit representation r's complement representation and r minus one complement representation you need to revise a concept that uh, uh, you need to revise a concept that what is r r is the radix and for different number system uh, value of r is s like this right so sign bit representation we have seen that the msb is used as the sign bit and uh, for the further uh, for further lecture we will start for complement representation in r's complement okay so r means r means the radix okay r stands for radix or what we can say is the base of number system okay so uh, uh, that simple i will write some uh, uh, i will first do some examples and then uh, we will combine them in those examples to make the general rules out of it okay so first example i will take r equals to 2 r equals to 2 it means uh, uh, r equals to 2 it means the value of r is 2 and this would be and uh, this would be 2's complement okay 2's complement okay so complement representation when we start uh, the value we will start with r minus one's complement method and uh, for this we will uh, take first value of r equals to 2 and uh, initially i will do some examples and then we will combine those examples to create some set of rules set of general rules for r okay so r equals to 2 okay so for r equals to 2 it means it is a binary number system and this would be called a 2 uh, this would be called a r minus 1 it means once complement once complement method okay once complement method okay once complement method it uh, what does uh, what does it mean it means there if there is a negative number which is uh, which is a binary number if there is a negative binary number okay so that will be convert if it is converted into uh, uh, if it is converted into its once complement form once complement form okay then it can be used as then it becomes a positive representation of the number so that we can add into the uh, we can add into the mine event okay we can subtract it from we can add it to the mine event okay so for a negative number for a by bi negative binary number okay suppose i want to do this subtraction let us take with this this as an example okay now i have this number and i want to do subtraction of this number from this okay now i want to perform subtraction of these two binary numbers right so um, for the method that we have seen that this subtraction can be converted into a addition operation by putting this minus sign with the subtract right okay so if i have 
our representation i we have seen that how to represent this negative number uh, in the negative number using signed complement uh, signed bit representation now we will uh, we will uh, see another method uh, to convert this negative number into a positive representation okay so what is the positive representation we will convert we will take its ones complement okay ones complement because this is a binary number system so binary number system value of r is 2 and r minus 1 we are doing r minus 1 complement system which is ones complement system so we need to do the complement reap complement of this system okay so for binary for binary i will write a rule that invert invert all bits invert all bits it means invert all bits means the bits were suppose i want to convert this minus 100 binary into its ones complement so what i need to do i need to just invert all the bits opposite to uh, all the bits individually okay so i i i start from suppose lsb so this zero will be inverted as one this zero will be inverted as one and this one will be inverted as zero okay so this zero one one in binary is a ones complement representation of minus one zero 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 okay okay so what is the general rule of binary that you just invert all the bits okay now uh, i will take example for r equals to 8 that is octal system okay for octal system uh, for octal system suppose uh, you have a uh, sum like that uh, 7 3 4 in octal to be subtracted from uh form 3 4 3 okay in octal okay so you can convert this in 7 3 4 okay will be added as minus 3 4 3 in octal okay so what is required r's value is 8 so r minus 1 will be 7's complement okay so 7's complement 7's complement is like so what you have to do minus 3 4 3 8 7 complement needs to be performed for this this is our objective and the 7 complement will be added to this 7 3 4 and this will produce the result of this negative operation we will see in further lectures but right now our objective is to convert this negative number to a positive representation okay so for sevens complement for sevens complement the uh, way of doing this is that you take the number okay suppose you the number is 343 three, and uh, what you need to do you just need to subtract this number from r minus 1 each digit from r minus 1 you, what you need to do you just need to subtract this 343 three, that was the uh, digit of the number and subtract it from the r minus 1 okay so this is the general rule that i am telling you so 7 minus 3 is 4 7 minus 4 is 3 and 7 minus 3 is 4 so 434 four in octal is 434 four in octal is sevens complement of Seven's complement of three minus three four three. Okay, you you have to remember that this is for minus three four three. For three four three, the the, the negative the complement of the complement of a positive number is always the same number. Okay, so the two rules that we have come here is that complement of positive number is same as number okay and another rule that we have come to come over here that subtract each digit from r minus 1 so this is the general 
method and r minus 1 here was 7 so here we subtracted from 7 so uh, one doubt may be coming in your mind that why we have uh, taken this invert bits here and why we are doing there okay so let us take uh, let us apply this same rule over here also okay so here value of r is r is 2 okay where here value of r is 2 and r minus 1 r is 2 and r minus 1 is 1 okay so if i want to uh, estimate minus 110 and it's one's complement i need to subtract it from triple 1 okay triple 1 triple 1 why triple 1 because it is value of r minus 1 what what our general rule says okay so 1 minus 0 is 1 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is Zero. So can you see that this is verifying our shortcut method? Okay, so this I have given as a shortcut, but this shortcut applies only to the binary system, and this gen this is the this is the general method to convert uh, any R any for any R. Okay. Now we will take uh, for R equals to uh, suppose I take for sixteen. Okay, hexadecimal. So R minus one will be fifteen. And if I want to estimate, uh, if I want to estimate uh, uh, 15th complement of this particular figure, okay, uh, this particular figure, uh, what I want to estimate, it's 15th complement, okay, 15th complement, right? So why 15? Because R minus 1 is 15 for hexadecimal, right? So uh, I need to use the general rule. What what is the general rule? That is subtract each digit from R minus one. Okay. So uh, the digits are A, B, and seven, and you have to subtract it from R minus one. That is subtract it from fifteen, 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 or I can say subtract it from F F F. Okay. So F F F. Fifteen minus seven is eight. Fifteen minus B is four. Okay, and 15 minus A is 5. So, 5, 4, 8 in hexadecimal, okay, 5, 4, 8 in hexadecimal is the 15th complement of minus AB7, okay. And I, if I take R equals to uh, 10, then R equals to 10, so R minus 1 is equals to 9. So, for calculating this minus, suppose minus 2, uh, 30 and uh, 292 in decimal if you want to convert its nines complement okay if you want to calculate its nines complement so what what will be the value you have to take 292 and you have to subtract it from 999 and the result would be 7 0 and 7 okay so 707 in decimal is the is the 707 in decimal is the nines complement of minus 292 okay so i have taken r equals to 10 in the last because i want to bring a important conclusion from here in front of you that okay so uh, first let let us summarize this okay so the only rule you have to remember to calculate r minus 1's complement is that subtract each digit from r minus what okay so this is the only rule you have to remember for a binary you can do it directly uh, by uh, reverting inverting the bits okay now i will take this example further and will we will draw some conclusion from here okay so uh, what was the example it was minus 292 okay so for minus 292 in decimal if i converted it into nines complement okay so nines for nines complement what we did 292 and 999 and i subtracted it from here so it gave me 7 0 and 7 okay so this was the uh, this was the result that what we have got okay so what you have to see i think that uh, for your uh, for your uh, uh, decimal number system you can observe this thing very clearly that the uh, the summation summation of a number and its complement 
which complement its r minus 1 complement is equal to the largest number of those digits okay so summation of a number summation of a number that is 292 and its complement that is 707 is equals to 999 and 999 is the largest number of three digits okay so this is the analogy of r minus one's complement okay i'm putting here some practice questions for you practice questions for you first you can uh, do uh, this particular practice question that is uh, three seven nine two four okay uh, three seven uh, six two four in octal you have to find out its sevens complement right because r minus one would be sevens complement it is nothing i am giving you a new thing to do okay and uh, you can take a b c d and uh, 3 okay this is 16 and what which complement you have to find it it's 15 complement you have to find out okay we will move further uh, in the upcoming video okay please wait for the video thank you